Close your eyes and watch your breath. Watch your mind in relationship to the breath. Make sure they stay together. That's where your primary focus should be. Even as you go through the day, you should have a sense of looking inside. As the Buddha said, you don't go to hell because of other people's behavior. You go to hell because of your own. You can also go to heaven. You can gain awakening because of your behavior. Other people's behavior can't take you there. So you've got to keep a watch on what you're doing. And when you look at that, you've got to look at where is it coming from. It's coming from the mind. So you have to be very alert to what your mind is doing. Focus your attention inside. Your eyes point outside, but our mental eyes should point inside to make sure that our attentions are good. And also when you see the results of an action, take that in and remember it for the next time. If you're going to be looking at other people, see what good and bad examples they have. And then if there's a good or bad example, then you look at yourself. If there's something bad that you see in other people, do you have it in yourself? If there's something good you see in other people, do you have it in yourself? If there's something bad you've got in there, then you've, then you've got work to do. Something good, well, you try to maintain it. This way you're looking at the right spot. Because that's what the Noble Truths are all about. I knew a, an ex-abbot of a monastery over in, in Europe who ended up leaving the monastery because, as he said, the people he was dealing with weren't interested in the Four Noble Truths. They're constantly complaining about this, this way, that. I want this to be changed. We want that to be changed. And they weren't thinking about changing themselves. He got frustrated and left. So that's what the Four Noble Truths mean. They're not just four interesting facts about suffering. They're pointing you inside. You're suffering because of your own cra craving and clinging, because of your own ignorance. So there's work to be done in here. And it is harder to straighten ourselves out than it is to straighten out other people, we think. But ac actually, other people can't be straightened out. You've got to give them the motivation, if you can, to want to straighten out. But you can't force it on them. The only place you can force it is inside. When you say that you're suffering from your own actions, okay, that gives you the motivation you need to find some other way of acting. Use your ingenuity, use your insights for that purpose. And that's when you're using them right. <clears throat>